coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. Amazon drone delivery imminent. Michigan courts split on drone legalities. And Airgility's Atlas UAV shoulders impressive payload. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Amazon drone delivery imminent. Amazon has announced that customers in Lockford, California will start receiving package deliveries by drone later this year. The community of 3,500 will be among the first U.S. locations to receive free drone delivery of Amazon products within 30 minutes. Amazon has begun contacting customers in Lockford for purposes of inquiring after their interest in drone delivery. Once enrolled, customers will be visited by Amazon personnel who will determine whether or not the areas adjacent to the customer's home are conducive to drone delivery. The service, which Amazon has dubbed Prime Air, will be offered at no cost to Prime members exclusively. Amazon's drone program, in which the company has reportedly invested in excess of $2 billion, has been beset with delays and staffing setbacks. To date, at least eight Amazon drones have crashed, and the Prime Air division has contended with a staggering 71% employee turnover. Drone delivery companies are obligated to be certified and operate under Part 135 of the FARs. Amazon's application for Part 135 certification is currently under FAA review. Amazon isn't alone in its bid to commercialize drone package delivery. Walmart started testing drone delivery last year in Arkansas, and Alphabet, a company begat by Google Ledger Domain, launched its Wing drone delivery program near Dallas. UPS2 is developing a drone service. And after the break, NASA's Mars helicopter AOG. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the Uncrewed Vehicle Communities. NASA's Mars Helicopter AOG. NASA's Ingenuity Helicopter was recently grounded due to the failure of an inclinometer. Subject device contains two accelerometers which measure gravitational forces prior to the vehicle's rotor spin-up and takeoff process. Ingenuity's navigation algorithms are predicated upon attitude data measured by the inclinometer. Ergo, the craft couldn't fly until NASA devised alternative means by which to gauge attitude information. Ingenuity was designed for flight during the warm Martian spring. The cold temperatures of the prevailing Martian winter are adversely affecting the vehicle systems. Zero Avia Hydrogen Slash Electric Technology to Power Auto Aviation Solera Aircraft Zero Avia and Auto Aviation have entered into an agreement by which the former will integrate its ZA600 zero emission engines into the latter's unconventional Solera aircraft. The Solera is a prototype aircraft that seeks to improve the efficiency of flight, thereby reducing the operational cost of both commercial and general aviation. Coupled with Zero Avia's hydrogen slash electric powertrain, the Solera stands to exceed the range, efficiency, and environmental friendliness of conventional aircraft and has huge potential in the AAM scheme of things. Wind tunnel sim testing completed for hydrogen-powered airship. 
H2 Clipper, the Santa Barbara-based aerospace and alternative energy company, announced that it has completed a simulated wind tunnel test of its hydrogen-powered pipeline-in-the-sky airship. The lighter-than-aircraft is intended to transport freight, including possibly hydrogen supplies for commercial use, in a manner ostensibly 7 to 10 times faster than shipment via truck or ship, and 70% less costly than contemporary air freight fee schedules. The testing, which utilized computational fluid dynamics, confirmed the airship's aerodynamic design conforms to H2 Clipper's performance objectives and cost models. Dish Network and SpaceX's Square Off and Dish Duel SpaceX is mired in a regulatory spat with Dish Network over alleged misuse of the former Starlink satellite internet service. In a letter to the FCC, Dish Network alleges SpaceX breaks FCC rules by tacitly encouraging Starlink users to use their dishes on moving vehicles. SpaceX is awaiting FCC clearance that would allow consumers to operate Starlink in moving cars, boats, and planes. Dish Network, however, claims SpaceX CEO Elon Musk has prematurely encouraged users to try their Starlink dishes on moving vehicles. The allegation cites a May 2022 tweet in which Musk wrote, quote, Starlink does work on vehicles in motion, including planes, but not yet reliably, end quote. And that was our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Michigan courts split on drone legalities. A Michigan pair accused of violating zoning laws is once again at the center of a constitutional debate. In 2008, Long Lake Township brought a zoning ordinance violation lawsuit against township residents Todd and Heather Maxson. The township alleged the Maxson's property was over full of trash and debris in violation of zoning ordinances. Constitutionality prevailed in the form of an out-of-court settlement that called for the township to pay $3,200 of the Maxson's legal expenses and agree to levy no future zoning enforcements against the couple. The Maxons, for their own part, admitted no liability in the case. A decade later, however, in 2018, Long Lake Township officials hired a contractor to fly a reconnaissance drone over the Maxons' property and take photographs. Township officials then used those photographs, taken without the Maxons' permission, as evidence in a second lawsuit. The Maxons subsequently hired Traverse City attorney Bill Burdett, who argued that flying a drone over private property for purpose of taking photos of possible zoning violations constitutes an egregious instance of government overreach. Township officials countered, alleging the salvage-slash-junkyard ordinance had been violated anew by what they called a, quote, significant increase in amount of junk, end quote, being stored at the property since the 2008 settlement. And after these messages, Airgility's Atlas UAV shoulders impressive payload. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Airgility's Atlas UAV shoulders impressive payload. Airgility, the Florida-based company that develops and builds autonomous, long-range, high-payload, cargo-carrying, hybrid electric, vertical takeoff and landing, unmanned aerial vehicles, has unveiled a prototype of its Atlas UAV. The company's long-range heavy lift capabilities are conducive to humanitarian, disaster relief, military, and industrial missions conducted in areas where ground transportation is impossible, impractical, or flat-out dangerous. At an empty weight of 900 pounds, a 15-foot, 4-inch longitudinal dimension, and a hefty 600-pound useful load, Atlas is a large UAV. Size, however, is among the lesser of Atlas's distinctions. Engineers, aerodynamicists, and pilots are apt to be more impressed with Airgility's patented, managed auto-rotation technology. 
which enables Atlas to achieve transitionless flight from multi-rotor vertical takeoff and landing to autogyro-like forward flight. During vertical takeoff and landing, Atlas's battery-powered rotors behave like those of a conventional multi-rotor drone, once airborne a diesel-burning pusher turboprop provides forward thrust. Thereafter, however, Atlas's rotors go into a passive auto-rotation mode, auto-gyro style, and are managed by an onboard computer which controls the aircraft by varying individual rotor speeds. While in passive mode, the rotors regenerate the battery. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.